Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I have encountered a lot of people who I believe are prejudiced against Jesus Christ. Maybe that's you. Are you prejudiced against Jesus Christ? Do you think that you don't need Jesus? You resent the fact that Christians believe Jesus is the only way to get to heaven? Are you re determined to reject Jesus and believe that you can get to heaven some other way? Do you really believe that you do not need Jesus Christ? Well, in the Bible, in Acts 4.12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's pretty clear. There is no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. That's right. We must be saved or we're lost. You see, the Bible says that if you believe on Jesus, you're not condemned. But if you do not believe on Jesus, you are condemned already. So, if you do not trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you are not relying on Jesus Christ for your salvation, then right now, you are already condemned. You're, you're simply waiting to die and waiting for hell. That's why it says we must be saved. Because we're condemned, we need to be saved. And the Bible says salvation is found in no one else but Jesus Christ. Now, I'm, I'm not going to tell you tonight my opinion, because my opinion doesn't matter. I'm telling you what the Bible says. In fact, I'll even tell you exactly what Jesus Christ himself said. So, let's go to John 14.6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there you have it. In Jesus' own words, Jesus claims that He is the way to heaven. In fact, He says it so strongly, He says He's the one and only way to get into heaven. Jesus said, you cannot get into heaven any other way except through Him. So, what are you going to do with that? There was a famous writer, Christian apologist, and novelist, C.S. Lewis. He posed this point. He said that Jesus put us in such a position that he did not leave you the option of believing that um, he was not God and Savior. You must come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ is the Lord God and Savior. Or, you must come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ is a liar or a lunatic. Because Jesus is the one that claimed to be Lord God our Savior. 
Jesus claimed to be God and Savior. So, you're in a predicament. You must either believe Jesus' claim, or you must call Jesus a liar, or you must believe that he's a lunatic, like someone who believes that they're a poached egg. Well, Jesus also said that he is the gate to heaven. Jesus said that he's the door to heaven. But some of you are refusing to go through that door. You're prejudiced against our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You will not accept the gift of eternal life that He offers you through faith in Him. You are determined to find some other way to get to heaven because you're prejudiced against Jesus Christ. Well, listen carefully. Jesus is the door to heaven and there's only one door. There's not a side door. There's not a back door. There's only the front door to heaven and Jesus Christ is the doorway. You must go through Jesus Christ to get into heaven. So, will you believe Him and go to heaven? Or will you call Him a liar or a lunatic? Whatever you decide, Please make a comment on this video. Thank you very much. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen.